Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is iPod Touch Reviewer 970 here, and I'm bringing you a video on the brand new 3D maps that iOS 6 has to offer. So the first thing that you'll notice when you first unlock your device with iOS 6 installed is the new app icon. Uh, they have it reflecting their new turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and uh, if any of you are wondering, uh, that circle right there is actually Apple's headquarters, and that's called Infinite Loop. And uh, I don't know what Route 280 means. That's probably just the route next to them. But uh, anyways, it still says Map underneath Maps. And uh, it looks a lot nicer than the previous one. Alright, so you will see that we have a brand new layout. We no longer have uh, bus, walk, or car options. We just have directions up in this corner. And uh, go ahead and let it load up. Uh, we will go ahead and go from our current location to Las Vegas, Nevada. So go ahead and let that load up. And you'll see that it will give us two uh, routes. Uh, let's go ahead and choose route one. And let's say that I was actually using this, I would be able to uh, turn it on my lock screen. Like if I were actually driving on the road, it would allow me to do that, but since I am not, it probably wouldn't let me so, uh, you have to be driving on the road for it to actually scroll through all this stuff, because it'll track your location and everything like that. So, uh, other than that, that's mainly all of the turn-by-turn -turn directions. Uh, also, if you have an iPad 2 or 3, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, I think those are all the devices that have it, um, you will get Siri's voice talking to you on the lock screen, even if your phone is off. So uh, that, in my opinion, is a great step up from Google Maps. Uh, right here, we have our bookmarks, uh, bookmarks, recents, uh, and then your contacts. Uh, and then right there is your location button, and then we'll go ahead and look at 3D in a little bit. Uh, right up here, you can search your places, and uh, you have a wide variety of things that you can look at. You know, go ahead and type in Nebraska. It should, that's not how you spell it. Nebraska, I think that's, yeah, so, uh, it should be in the state of, maybe not, uh, that's how you spell it, yeah, uh, but anyways, uh, you can go ahead and look up any of that stuff on the search or address. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and look at 3D, so, we're going to go ahead and go to Las Vegas, Nevada because that, in my opinion, is probably one of the coolest places to look at in 3D. Oh, I'm still in uh, directions. Wait, on that. I think it's because I had it like that. So Las Vegas, Nevada. And it should bring... I don't know why it's still doing that. But, uh, clear. So let's just go ahead and zoom in on this place. And if we go ahead, type up hybrid... Go ahead and load it up like that. You can see that the buildings kind of had a, have a clay formation to them. If you go ahead and drag two fingers up, uh, you will go ahead and get a 3D look at the buildings, which is very, very cool in my opinion. I really like this feature a lot. It, it makes you uh, get a cool look at what these buildings are actually like. Uh, one step down is that they, they do not have street views. So you can't, uh, you know, go into it and then do the 360 degree um, spin around to look at the buildings so you could see what they look like from street view. But I mean, I guess this is okay as street view. Uh, I think the limit is like actually on the building. But uh, if you're really close to it, go ahead and wait for the pictures to load up. Uh, they're actually not bad quality pictures. As you can see right there, it kind of kicked me out. I don't know why. Uh, but I mean, that's not a bad quality picture at all. But it won't, you see, it won't let me zoom in anymore. And then if you wanted to go ahead and turn off 3D, you didn't want to use your fingers, just go ahead and tap that button. And that'll uh, move it down to a certain uh, angle. All in all, if you have a device that is 3D capability or has the turn-by-turn -turn navigation, 
this is a very nice upgrade for you, but if you have, let's say, an iPhone 4, iPod Touch, 4th generation, you know, or lower, you kind of only have turn-by-turn -turn navigation without Siri voice, which is kind of unfortunate, but all in all, this is a really nice upgrade for all those people who have 3D map viewing. Well, that's all I have for this review and this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Like the video if you like what you saw. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll help us a lot. And I will see you all in the next video.